Our biggest challenge on this is just the weather and the locations because we approached it using minimal visual effects and to try and create as much as we can. And so what you're seeing is real. We did climb the mountains, we did cross the rivers, we did live in mud, you know, we've done all that. There is a scene between um, the Count, played by Tim Roth, and Father Judge, played by Sam Shepard, um, that takes place um, inside a church. And it started raining, and the, and the rain actually started leaking through the ceiling. So rather than shut down or move or delay anything, you know, Simon, uh, brilliant Simon, just said, well, get some authentic pans of the time and let's make sure they're lit well. And the whole scene was shot with the rain pouring down through the ceiling. And it's fantastic, because that's the way it was. Dawson's a, a godless town, you soon find out. What is happening is not only are we telling a story, but we're telling it in a very creative, artistic way. A lot of the times it's handheld, there's no marks on the ground for actors, so there's this feeling of things sort of being real, but at the same time, it looks exquisitely beautiful. I think the story shows how well it's been researched. You didn't smell it, you know? When something's well researched, well, I don't care whether it's based on fiction or whether it's based an adaptation based on a book on fact, it's very well researched, you can ask, sense it. And I think that's very important in anything like this, you've got to get your facts right. And um, whether it's in the wardrobe and in the story, certainly in the story, then from the story is the meltdown is into everything and the way everything looks, the way every everyone behaves. Good man! You know, you can have a good script or you could have a good director, but if you have, you know, a donut hole at the center of your production in terms of an actor, the audience just doesn't care. It was really a, a very exciting uh, casting process because there was a lot of enthusiasm for the material. And then they just populated it with all these very good actors in this extraordinary set that we had. And, um, so you couldn't really uh, walk away from it. It was rather good. Discovery had this great uh, attitude of being both very sort of bold and epic and graphic, but also very, very immersed and very sort of present in their subjects. It's not all sort of beautiful, epic shots from a helicopter. There's a, there's a real sense of them getting involved in their subjects, and I think there's no difference with the way they approach this. I think the, the, that was the nature of the Klondike. It, it kind of uh, broke people in half and put them back together.